Soothe is a brand new spectral processor by Oak Sound, which is used for suppressing mid and high frequency resonances. Although it's designed primarily to be used on vocals, it can be great for solving problems in many applications. So let's take a look at the controls. The depth control acts as a threshold, uh, much like the threshold on a regular compressor. It can be used to set how much processing is applied to the signal, and more depth means more processing. The frequency and reduction graph acts like a dynamic EQ in reverse. The more you boost a specific frequency, the more resonances in that frequency band are cut. There are five frequency bands which can be adjusted by dragging the dots on the graph. You can bypass a frequency by double clicking on a dot and the slope can be controlled by dragging the dot up or down. You can also control a frequency band by selecting a dot and then using the control strip to the left of the graph. The frequency, bandwidth and sensitivity to processing can all be adjusted from here. The sharpness and selectivity controls affect how reduction is applied. Sharpness affects how sharp the cuts are. At 0, for example, Soothe acts like a dynamic equaliser, and at 10, the cuts are very deep and narrow. Selectivity controls how selective Soothe is about the frequencies being suppressed. It's a little like the threshold control with higher values affecting only stronger, more prominent frequencies, and at 0, Soothe applies a broader reduction. Selectivity, sharpness and depth all affect each other, so adjusting one parameter may require tweaking of another. The output stage allows you to mix the wet and dry signal as you would with any parallel processing. Blending some of the dry signal in with the process signal can give you a more natural sounding result. Trim compensates for changes in level between the processed and unprocessed signal, which is useful for A-B comparison. Delta lets you hear only the part of the signal that Soothe is removing. With Stereo Link set to 100%, the same reduction is applied to the left and the right channels. And at 0%, it acts in dual mono, applying reduction to each channel independently. Oversample processes the signal at a higher sample rate and then outputs the signal back at the session sample rate. This can give smoother results when using high sharpness values. With resolution set to high or ultra, Soothe refreshes the internal reduction filter more often. You can hear the effect of this control on signals with lots of transients or complex waveforms such as harpsichord or grand piano. So let's have a listen to Soothe in action. I've got a particularly resonant vocal here. It's got a nasty resonance at three point, uh, roughly about 3.8 kilohertz. So I've dialed in some settings on Soothe and I'm gonna flick bypass on and off so you can hear exactly what Soothe is doing. Okay, let's switch Soothe in. So I'm going to just switch to Delta so you can hear the resonant frequency. Now I'm just going to tweak some of the settings while we're in Delta mode. Now uh, 
obviously I'm just focused on this one particular resonant frequency at roughly about 3.8 kilohertz. Um, I would spend time looking at all the other bands and pinpointing exactly which resonances are creating problems and deal with those accordingly. Um, the important thing to remember here with Soothe is once you've found roughly where the resonant problem is, Soothe will track it dynamically. So it doesn't matter if that resonant frequency is shifting up or down a little bit, Soothe will keep it locked, track it and reduce that resonance. So I'm just going to toggle bypass on and off so you can get uh, more of a sense of what Soothe is actually doing. I got what you want more. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos and thanks for watching. I said go.